Hey what's going on guys, welcome to another video and today I'm gonna finally do another JavaScript tutorial that I have been promising for so long and we are gonna build this carousel image slider as you can see in here. So this slider in here is just changing automatically as you can see, every three seconds is changing the image and look, it gets updated in here with these dots. And yeah, this is the project that we are going to start now. But before we start, let me just uh, uh, give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is my Patreon, of course. <laughs> if you want to support me and get some more tutorials, just go in here to my Patreon and you will get more tutorials on JavaScript, React and some algorithms. And I'm going to do a different variation of this slider that we are building now. I'm going to do this one in here where instead of being automatic slider, you have some arrows where you can click and look and change. So this is the version I'm going to do on my Patreon this month. And this one that I'm doing in here, the automatic one is going to be the one that I'm going to do the tutorial now. Okay, so. Uh, let's get started with this and I'm gonna dive into Visual Studio Code. Alright guys, first thing you need to do, open an index.html page and I'm gonna start just as usual, oops, let me just go in here, with my template, okay, and I'm gonna put in here uh, image carousel slider. Um, now, I want to target in here, for example, uh, let's see, my CSS, I already have a folder, let me see, in here, uh, this is the one, okay, so I got this one already with my CSS file, what I want to do in here now is, uh, I want to link, okay, my CSS, and it's going to be the name of my CSS file is main, Okay, main.css and let me just get rid of this and this is inside of the folder CSS. All right, so this is done. Let's go in here in my main.css. I'm going to put body. I want the box sizing to be border box and I want the background color to be royal. This is just to test make sure that it's working. I'm going in here and let me refresh the page. Yeah, this is fine. So it's working. Now, let's go to our index.html. Let's start putting everything. I want to start with the H2 and I'm going to put in here carousel image slider. And then I'm going to have, what did I have? A paragraph and I'm going to put change image every three seconds for example we can change this after okay so we got these two let's see how does it look like let's refresh carousel image slider change image every three seconds that's fine um okay what else now i, I i'm gonna start now with my html code so in here i'm gonna start a div with a class of uh, carousel i'm gonna give it or slide yeah slide show container okay because this is going to be the div where i'm going to put all the other images that i want and in here i'm going to have now a div with a class with a class of my slides okay we got this one in here and in here i'm going to put now a div I'm gonna put a div with a class of oops, a div with a class of number text, number text. Okay, we got this one in here. Um, so in here, for example, I'm gonna put this one, one out of three. And inside as well, I'm gonna put a image. Okay, so I'm gonna put an image, and I'm gonna put the source img. Look. If I go in here to my folders, I have a folder called IMG and I got my three images that I want in here. OK, so I'm going back to here and I'm going to put image and I'm going to put image one dot JPEG. 
and I'm just gonna put uh, background for the alt. So I got this one, an image, and now I want um, another div with a class of uh, text. And I'm gonna put something inside. I'm gonna put uh, uh, image or slider, no, first image, okay? So let's see how does it look like at the moment. Let's refresh. Okay, that's fine. We got the title and we got an image. And okay, this is all fine. So we got the setup for our first image. So this is the container and then I got this one in here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this up and I'm going to paste it like two times. Let's just like organize this code to look nice, nicely indented. I'm going to put a bit more zoom. I don't know if you guys are seeing well or not, but I'm going to, yeah, I just put a bit more zoom. Maybe you guys will see better if you are on a phone or on a tablet. I don't know. Uh, okay. We got this one, one, two, three. Let me change this one now for three. This is two, this is one. Okay, first, this is second, and this is third. Okay, we got all of these working now. Um, okay, so let's see how does it look like at the moment. Refresh, we got all the images in here. That's fine. Ah, I think I didn't, so this is three out of three and this is two out of two, so this is fine. Uh, maybe we can start putting some, um, some CSS in here, all right? So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna get rid of this body. This is a JavaScript uh, tutorial, okay? So don't expect me to just like go through all of the CSS. I'm going to explain as I'm going, but not too much in detail. So I'm going in here now and I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to target the body, which I did already. Uh, now I want the font family, font family to be Verdana. Okay, Verdana. And I want in the beginning, I want in the beginning to my slides to be uh, displayed none. Okay, so we are not, so I'm not going to put this at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I will put, no, I will put this after, maybe it's better. I want my images on the page to be vertical aligned, to be in the middle. Uh, I want my slideshow container, slide, uh, slideshow container. I want my slideshow container to have a max width of 1000, 1000 pixels. I also want the position to be relative. You will see this after Y. And I want the margin to be zero auto. Okay, zero auto. Let's see how does it look so far. That's fine. Everything is nicely and aligned. I also want in the body in here for the text align to be center. Let's refresh. So this is fine in here. Yeah, this is fine. This is all good so far. Uh, okay, max width. And now I want, uh, let's see, my number text in here. Yeah, I want all of these ones in here. That's what I want to do. I want my number text. Was it number text in here? Yeah, I want my number text to be position absolute. I want to be on the top zero. Uh, I want them to have a padding of eight pixels top and bottom and 12 pixels left and right. Let's refresh. So it's just in here. So this is fine. Uh, but don't worry because all of them, they are just in here. So 
we will see we will fix this after uh, what else do i need in here so i got my position absolute top and i want as well to give them some different color so in here i'm going to give it a color of this one so about one two three four ah and i want to give them a font size of 12 pixels i'm going to refresh and yeah I can even give 16 pixels, maybe it's going to look better. Okay. Uh, we got all of these. We got all of these. That's fine. So, what else can I do in here? Let me see. Um, ah, I have some dots that I should put as well. Let me see where is my dots. I'm going to put in here on my HTML. Maybe I can I can put the dots after because at the moment we don't need them. OK, um, let me see. Maybe I can put the dots after because at the moment I don't need. Uh, what else? I need my text. Yeah, this text in here, I could do something about it. So I'm going to target my text. OK. And this text can also have this color. Oops, can have this color. Uh, I'm just going to copy whatever I have in here just to make things a bit faster. So got font size, the position, absolute, bottom width, 100%. Refresh and yeah, that should be fine in there. Okay, yeah, so this is how it's going to look like. Uh, I think I have everything at the moment to start now with the JavaScript. So all of this is working. Now, let's go in here to our main.js. I'm going to just put a console.log. Okay, I'm going to put a console.log and I'm just going to put test just to make sure this is working. I need now to, of course, link it to my index.html. So I'm going to go script source. This is inside of a JS folder main.js. OK, so inside of the folder JS and the file is main.js. Uh, let's go refresh the page, refresh the page. Open the developer tools with F12, or you can right click inspect on the page. Let's see the console. Oops. Let's see the console. It didn't show up anything. Let's see what's going on. Console.log test. It should come up something in here. I'm not sure why it's not working. Um, Console.log, main.js. js main.js ah okay look this is wrong i was missing something in here now i can close sometimes this autocomplete of uh, this autocomplete of visual studio code just messes things up okay let's refresh and here it is the test okay this is what i wanted now okay it's working our javascript let's start doing some some actual code now i want to start first of all to give a um i'm gonna start with a variable called uh, slide index is going to be equals to zero okay so this is going to be for example the first image is going to have a slide index of zero the second one is going to have slide index of one, slide index of two. It's like an array position, okay? It starts from zero. So I'm going to start with this variable, slide index zero. And now I'm going to start with my function. So this function, I'm going to call it const uh, show slides, okay? And this is going to be equals to a narrow function. OK, so show slides. And I want that whenever we run 
the whenever we load the page this this function is going to run so i'm going to put in here a console.log just to test it out uh, function is running and of course to start any function you need to call it so this is how you call the function in here you initialize the function and in here you are calling it make sure that is running so i'm gonna refresh and it says in here function is running so great it's fine okay let's go back in here again let's get rid of this code and first thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a let and now i'm gonna call it const because these numbers shouldn't um, change okay so i'm gonna call it slides and this is going to be equals to document dot get elements by class name so this is to target all the elements with the same class and the class is going to be my slides okay we got three of them so we are grabbing these elements with vanilla javascript using document dot get elements by class name my slides you don't need to put a dot in here because we are using already get elements by class name okay just to show you this is going to be like a html collection so console.log i'm going to log this one on the page this is how developers work using console.logs all the time to make sure that we are getting what we want okay look at this refresh the page and we got the html collection with three elements if we open them look the first element is going to be the first div this one in here with all this stuff the second one is going to be this one in here look it's getting selected and the third one is going to be this one okay perfect this is what we want just go back in here and see the console okay let's get rid of this so what I'm going to do now, this is like an array that I got in here now. Uh, I'm going to loop through all of these with a for loop. So I'm going to do a for let i equals to zero. And then I'm going to do i is going to be less than uh, slides dot length. Okay. And it's going to increment every time by one so i'm going to put i plus plus if you never done a for loop with javascript basically we are just like looping through all the elements of this array that we are getting in here so starting from zero going until slides dot length the length is going to be three okay because we got three of them in here one slide two slides three slides of my slides so it's starting from zero so it's going to be zero one two is not going to reach this one after what we're going to do in here is i'm going to target my slides and now we because we can access all these slides from slides zero slide one slide two yeah because this is an array i'm going to target this with the i because this is the i that we are looping through and i'm going to do dot style dot display and it's going to be equals to none okay so basically this one in here is putting everything to be a display none whenever we run the page look all of them are gone now uh, okay since all of them they are gone now what i want to do next is I'm going to put that my slide index whenever we run the page I'm going to do a slide plus plus okay so this makes sure that now we started with a slide index of zero and now the slide index is going to be one okay now I have to make a conditioning okay because for example if we are going to increment this all the time it's gonna go out of our uh, slide index because i want my slide index to be just zero one or two okay because we have only three images so i'm gonna do a conditioning in here like this if 
and I'm going to say something like this. My slide index is going to be uh, bigger than my slide then my slides dot length, okay? So I don't want it to be bigger than the actual size of my um, of my total number of slides, of course. What I want to do is do a slide index equals to one, okay? This is how we start with this one. And after I'm going to do my slide, my slides, okay? I'm going to do this one in here. I'm going to target, first of all, I'm going to target my slide index minus one. And I'm going to do dot style dot display equals to block. Okay, so I'm going to explain this one in here. Look, we are starting in here at the top with a slide index of zero, okay? Like the first one. We are starting in here with our function. And first of all, I'm grabbing all of my slides divs with all the images inside. I'm looping through all of them and setting them by display none. So you can't see any of them. After I do a slide index plus plus, this is to increment by one, whatever we have in here. So if in here was zero, now we have a slide index of one. Okay. So in here, now we have this, this if statement slide index, the one that we have in here at the moment is one. So one is bigger than slides dot length. This slides dot length is three. Okay, because we got three of these slides. So this is not true. So nothing of this happens. And after what happens in here is I'm going to get my slides. Look, this is an array that we got in here. And I'm going to access the position of slide index at the moment is one because we just incremented in here. So it's going to be one minus one. And I'm going to put dot style dot display block so this is putting the first element in there to be block okay and in here we are running the function of course let's refresh and look in here it should be only the first one as you can see look only the first one so this is fine um okay we got this one ready what else we can add in here now now I'm actually going to do a setup for this to be changing all the time every like two or three seconds. So I'm going to do a set timeout. This is a function from JavaScript that is going to uh, just going to happen like every like times that you are uh, setting it up. So I'm going to do that uh, after. I'm going to do a function. So the first function that I want to, to run is this one, the show slides. So this is the function I want to execute and it's going to do after three seconds or 3000 milliseconds. And I'm going to do this. If I refresh, And there it is, look. I might be needing some styles in here that I'm missing. Let me just see. Ah, now I could actually do something even, even different in here ah, because I forgot even my, um, I forgot even my uh, dots in here, okay? So what I'm gonna do in here about the dots, uh, let me see if I forgot something in here. I'm just going to copy my uh, my CSS that I got in here. I got all of these. I'm going to put it in here just to make sure that I have everything that I need. Okay. I don't know if I need something else. Maybe I need this, this one in here as well. 
Let me see if he, if he looks better. Yeah, I mean, I can I can put something in here to make this uh, look a bit better. Let me see. I'm going to put uh, probably in here my slideshow container. Slideshow container. I'm going to put the max width and I'm going to put in here maybe my images to have a max width of 100% as well. Maybe this is going to put the the layout a little bit better. Yeah, look at this. Now it's much better. Yeah, now, now it looks much better because I put this max width. So it's already changing. Look, second image. Now we just need to add the dots in here and also the animations. So let me put the dots in here first of all into the index.html on the bottom of our slideshow container. I want to put something like this, a div, and I'm going to put, so I'm going to put with a, a class of uh, dots container and inside I'm going to put a span with a class of dot. Okay. So let me go in here into my CSS. I'm going to put uh, dots con container. I'm going to put in here text align center and also my dots. Okay. Let me see what kind of uh, CSS I can put for my dots. Ah, I need to put on my dots a height of 15 pixels a width. Oops. A we width of 15 pixels as well. I'm going to put a display of inline block, of course. If not, it's not going to work. Display of inline block. Uh, what else? Ah, I need a background color. Background color of uh, hash PBB. Uh, I'm going to have a border radius of 50%. This is to make it round. Let me just see how does it look like at the moment. So we got this one in here. This is fine. Because we just got one at the moment. Yeah, I need three. I need three of them. Cool. Okay, we got three of them. And I'm going to put a little bit of space in here. Look, I I'm going to put in here with this one. Let me see. I'm going to put in here a margin top. Margin top of... Um, it's not on this one. It's going to be on the container. Margin top of uh, 30 pixels. Okay. Let me see. Refresh. And here it is. So this is fine. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. So I don't know if I'm missing something else. I got this one. And of course, I'm going to put this transition after. Because we are going to do something in here. And the first image... Let me see this for this number text text bottom eight pixels. I think I don't have this one. Let me see if my text, what is my text? Yeah, this should be fine. I don't know exactly why this is in here. Let me see what is wrong in here. Styles. Yeah, maybe I need to put something like this. I'm not sure why this is behaving like this. Uh, because my slides is not positioned relative, I think. Why is it my slides without... Um, let me see if I'm missing my slides. It should be. Yeah, it should be fine. Let me just copy copy these to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put these on my uh, width of 100 percent. 
max width. I'm going to put this on my GitHub so you guys can basically just copy whatever I have in here. So this one in here, I'm going to give it, yeah, this is, this is not, yeah, maybe like 25 pixels. Okay. So text is going to be 25 pixels. So this is looking better now. Okay. What I wanted to do is, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let me see what else I'm missing. I want that. Um, ah, I'm missing something in here as well. I'm going to put a const. I'm going to put a const of uh, dots. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing in here. I'm going to target all my dots. So with the document dot get elements by uh, dots. Okay. And after. I'm going to do another for loop in here. And now I'm going to do dots dot length. And what I want to do in here now is I want to get my dots. Okay. I want to get my dots. Is it the name? Yeah. Dots dot I. And I want to do a class name class name is going to be equals to dots i dot dot class name dot replace dot replace and i'm going to replace these with space active and I'm going to put for nothing. Okay. This is just, it's going to loop through all of them to see if there is a dot with a class of active when we are first running, it's going to remove this space active class if there is one and it's going to remove it. Okay. And after you could, you could even, you can even do like dots i dot class list uh, dot remove active is the same thing. Uh, yeah, let me, I could even, but that's fine. It's the same thing I just told you. You could do the same, like dots i dot class list, um, dot remove, and then you, you could remove this class of maybe it's even like less code than this, but it's just like a, a thing for you guys to know. So now, after this, I want to actually add a class of uh, dots. I'm going to dots and I'm going to be the same thing in here, slide index dot one. And I'm going to do dot class name is going to be plus equals to active. We are doing a plus equals to make sure that whenever, if there is a class already there, like this one of dot, we want to keep it in there, but add a class of active. Okay. I need to give it a space actually, if not, it's going to be all together. Uh, so this should be, this should do it. Let's refresh the page. Uh, class name of undefined 23. Okay. What's going on in here? Dots dot class name. dot slide index minus one dot class name. I'm not sure what's going on. Slide index dot class name plus equal. Ah, it could be because we're not using dots. Look, we are using dot. I think this is what we are doing in here. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I'm using dot. Okay. So, this is dot. Okay. I have dots in here because I'm grabbing all of them of the dot. And then I'm using dots because it's this one. So now it should be fine. Refresh. And there you go. Look, it's changing automatically. So basically if I want to do, for example, now every one second, look, I'm going to refresh. Every second is changing the image and the content inside. So as you can see, guys, it's not that difficult. 
And look, ah, I forgot to put something in here. Basically, now, whenever we change this kind of um, image, if you want to give it a little bit of styling, I can add this uh, kind of animation. So I'm going to put in here this one. Look, where is it? I'm going to put this animation in here, um, a class of fade. And I'm going to, this is just like the web kit to make sure that it works on Mozilla and Firefox and all these kind of things. So you need to give it an animation name of whatever you want. I put in here, for example, fade. And then you can put the, the animation duration. So it's going to take like 1.5 seconds as well. You can give it whatever uh, duration you want. And now, uh, let me just see, I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the class just in here. Look, fade, fade and fade okay let me refresh look you see like it's almost like kind of disappearing so this is something nice that you can add something nice that you can add and of course look you can also now you need to set up you need to set up the the keyframes okay so the keyframes is going to be this is for the animation. This is the animation that you created, the fade. And you want to say that from, uh, we already had in here, fuck, I, I forgot. So yeah, look at this. Because it was already in here, the keyframes. From opacity of 0 0.4 to one. So that's it, uh, I already had this in here from before, that's why it was working, uh, but just leave it. But that's it. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you could understand a bit how this works. And like I said, if you want to see how you can actually make this one that you can click and move, just go to my Patreon. I'm going to do this tutorial this month. Uh, I have a lot of different options that you can choose. Basically, it's like $5 for all the files, 7 for the algorithm challenges that I'm going to do and $10 for this kind of project that I'm going to be doing. So yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial and if you like it, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if this is your first one and I'll see you in the next video.